Have you ever woken up from a dream so vivid it felt like a message from another world? Or had a gut feeling so strong it stopped you dead in your tracks? That's your higher self trying to chat with you. What if I told you that within you lies a compass, one that points toward your true north, your higher self, the voice of courage over fear, action over hesitation. Yet, this voice is often drowned out by the cacophony of life's demands and our own insecurities. To think that maybe, just maybe, we've got this untapped potential waiting to be set free. We all have that little voice of doubt asking, what if I'm not good enough? Well, today we're turning up the volume on your inner guide. We're talking about dreams, hunches, gut feelings, and those coincidental run-ins that are way more than just chance. Let's defy the fear, embrace the desire, and unlock the conversation with your higher self. Number one, intuitive nudges. Have you ever had a moment where, out of the blue, you just knew what you needed to do? No lists of pros and cons, no weighing options, just a deep, undeniable certainty. That's what I like to call an intuitive nudge. It's like when you're playing a game of chess and there's a move that just feels right, even if it's not the one all the strategy books would recommend. These intuitive nudges are more than just random guesses. They're profound communications from your higher self. Think of your higher self as a seasoned navigator, quietly whispering directions to you as you sail the vast ocean of life. Your logical mind is like the maps and compasses, incredibly useful. But sometimes what you need is that experienced sailor's insight to navigate through uncharted waters. Now, these nudges aren't always loud and clear. Sometimes they're subtle, like a faint lighthouse glow through the fog, guiding you home. They might come to you in a moment of silence when you're staring out the window, or as a spontaneous urge to call an old friend out of the blue. And when you follow these nudges, they can lead to some of life's most serendipitous moments. But why should you trust this feeling? Well, let me put it this way. Have you ever looked back on a situation and thought, I knew it, my gut told me this would happen? That's the kind of, I told you so moment your higher self has when you ignore those intuitive nudges. Number two, synchronicities. You're walking down the street, lost in thought about an old friend you haven't seen in years. The memories are vivid, and you can't help but wonder how they're doing. And then, as if the universe conspired in your favor, you turn the corner, and there they are. It's as if your thoughts sent out a signal, and the reply came in real time, right in front of you. That's the magic of synchronicities. Synchronicities are life's way of winking at us. They are those moments that are too perfect to be mere coincidence. Think of them like Easter eggs hidden in a video game, planted by the game designer for you to find, offering you a moment of surprise and delight. They're unexpected, but they fit into the narrative of your life so seamlessly that they can't be anything but intentional. Now, you might be thinking, is the universe really that organized? But consider this. Have you ever hummed, a tune only to turn, on the radio and find that very song playing? Or have you ever been grappling with a problem, only to stumble upon a quote or a passage in a book that seems to speak directly to your situation? These moments are like cosmic breadcrumbs, guiding you to pay attention to the greater storyline of your life. And sometimes, they're gentle nudges from your higher self, guiding you towards a path, a person, or a decision that aligns with your greater purpose. Number three, vivid dreams. You're in the depths of sleep, your conscious guard down, and suddenly you're not just dreaming, you're in a world as vivid as the one you live in by day. These aren't your run-of-the-mill forgotten dreams. They stick with you, echoing in your mind as you stir awake, painting your emotions with hues that don't seem to belong to the palette of your everyday life. You've just had what I like to call a high-definition dream. It's like the difference between a standard TV and the latest 4K Ultra HD one. The colors are richer, the details sharper, and the experience, well, it's something you can't quite shake off. These dreams often leave you with a residue of emotion or a cryptic message, like a mysterious note left by a stranger that somehow, you know, was meant for you. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I unpack these messages? How do I use them? Here's the key. 
Keep a dream journal. The moment you wake up from a vivid dream, write down everything you can recall. The sights, the sounds, the emotions. This practice not only helps in retaining the details, but also in recognizing patterns over time. As you review your dream journal, look for symbols that resonate with your waking life. Is there a recurring theme or emotion? Is there a dialogue that stands out? These could be the clues your higher self is emphasizing. Number four, recurrent themes or patterns. Have you ever felt like you're stuck on a merry-go-round of the same experiences, seeing the same scenery over and over again? It's like your life is on repeat, playing the same track of challenges or the familiar tune of relationship issues. These recurrent themes or patterns you keep encountering aren't random. They're echoes of a deeper rhythm in your life, orchestrated by your higher self. Think of it as your personal life's playlist. Sometimes it's stuck on a loop, replaying the songs, or in this case, situations, that you need to listen to more closely. Why? Because there's something in the lyrics, in the melody, that you haven't quite learned yet. It could be a lesson about self-respect, boundaries, or perhaps about letting go and moving forward. These patterns are your cue to step back and listen intently. What is the common thread in these experiences? What haven't you noticed before? This is where your higher self is nudging you to dig deeper, to find the wisdom hidden within these repeating life episodes. It's urging you to evolve, to remix the old tunes into a new harmony that resonates with the life you are meant to live. So, how do you break the cycle? Start by acknowledging the pattern. Name it. Once you see it, you can change the music. Reflect on the lessons these experiences are trying to teach you. Then, make a conscious choice to do something different next time. This could mean setting a boundary, ending a toxic relationship, or taking a leap of faith in a new direction. Number five, flow states. Flow states occur when you're completely engaged in an activity to the point where everything else fades away. Your concentration is so intense that actions and thoughts merge, time becomes irrelevant, and you perform at your best with what seems like no effort at all. This deep immersion often happens during activities that you're passionate about and skilled in, where the challenge matches your level of expertise. This isn't just a random occurrence, it's a signal that you're aligned with your higher self. When you enter a flow state, it's an indication that you're operating in harmony with your core values and abilities. It suggests that you're on the right path, doing what you're meant to do. To experience flow more frequently, choose tasks that you love and that challenge you without overwhelming you. Ensure your environment supports deep work, eliminate distractions and set boundaries to protect your focused time. Adopt a mindset of exploration and detachment from the pressure of results. Concentrate on the process, not just the goal. Number six, emotional highs and lows. Emotional highs and lows can be as routine as the daily commute. When you're riding the high, it's like catching all green lights on your way to work. Everything just flows, and you arrive at your destination with time to spare, feeling great. These moments are like professional achievements or relationship milestones that signal you're on the right track, affirming that your hard work and dedication are paying off. On the flip side, emotional lows can feel like hitting every single red light or getting stuck in a traffic jam when you're already late. It's frustrating and can make you question your whole route. Maybe it's a project at work that's met with unexpected criticism or a once smooth sailing relationship that suddenly hits rocky waters. These lows force you to reflect. Do you need a new approach? Is it time to seek a different path altogether? When emotions surge, it's like your higher self sending you a text message, prompting you to look at your life's GPS. Is your career fulfilling? Are your relationships healthy? Are you prioritizing what truly matters? It's not about the intensity of the emotion, but what it's directing you to examine. Here's a practical approach. When emotions run high or low, pause and take stock. Write down what you're feeling and why you think you're feeling it. Then, identify one action you can take in response. Reaching out to a friend, scheduling time for a hobby that uplifts you, or perhaps starting a conversation about where you're at and where you'd like to be, whether at work or in your personal life. Number seven, 
physical sensations. When it comes to connecting with your higher self, physical sensations are like the unexpected notifications from your body, alerting you that something beyond the ordinary is at play. These sensations, goosebumps as you stumble upon a profound truth, a fluttering heart when you're contemplating a risky but true-to-your-heart decision, or an inexplicable warmth that envelops you in a moment of deep peace, are all signs from the universe. Think of these sensations as your body's natural response to alignment with your higher self. Just like the satisfaction of a good stretch in the morning, these feelings can signify that you're extending yourself in the right direction. They're a physical thumbs up to the choices and changes you're considering or the path you're currently on. But how can you use these signals to deepen your connection with your higher self? Start by becoming more attuned to your body. Practice mindfulness or meditation to help heighten your awareness of your physical responses throughout the day. When you notice a sensation, don't rush past it. Pause, breathe, and ask yourself what thought, action, or emotion coincided with this physical response. There's wisdom to be found in the timing and nature of these sensations. Number eight, inspiration and insight. When you experience a sudden burst of creativity or a flash of insight, it's like a light bulb moment that breaks through the ceiling of your usual thought patterns. It can come when you least expect it, while taking a shower, on a leisurely walk, or in the quiet moments just before sleep. These are not just happy accidents. They're communications from your higher self. These flashes of inspiration are your inner guide's way of delivering profound wisdom and novel ideas right to your doorstep. It's like receiving an unexpected package filled with exactly what you needed but didn't know how to ask for. This can happen in any area of your life where you've hit a wall, whether it's a personal project, a professional challenge, or even a relationship that needs mending. But how do you make room for more of these insightful deliveries? First, you need to clear the clutter from your mental space. Regularly set aside time to disconnect from the noise of daily life. Turn off your phone, step away from the computer, and give yourself the gift of stillness. This creates the silence necessary for your higher self to be heard. Next, cultivate a mindset open to receiving. When you're open to new ideas and ready to view situations from fresh angles, you become a magnet for insights. Encourage this by engaging with diverse sources of information, exploring new hobbies, or simply conversing with people who challenge your way of thinking. To put this into action, adopt a routine that nurtures your creative energy. It could be daily journaling, where you allow yourself to write freely without judgment, or perhaps a thinking walk, where you ponder a specific question or topic, and when inspiration strikes, honor it. Number nine, desire for solitude. In a world that often prizes constant connection and the buzz of social interaction, a sudden yearning for solitude can feel out of character, but it's a profound signal from your higher self that it's time to step back. This isn't about loneliness or isolation. It's about creating a sanctuary of quiet for introspection and deeper dialogue with your innermost self. Solitude acts as a pause button, offering a break from the endless stream of demands and noise. It's in these moments of deliberate stillness that you can hear the subtle whispers of your higher self. Like turning down the volume of a noisy room to better hear a conversation, solitude allows you to tune into the guidance that is often drowned out by daily life. Embracing periods of solitude can be immensely beneficial, giving you the clarity to reassess your goals, values, and the direction of your life's journey. It's the mental equivalent of decluttering, where you sort through your thoughts and feelings, keeping what serves you and releasing what doesn't. So how can you embrace and make the most out of your desire for solitude? Start by scheduling regular appointments with yourself into your routine. It doesn't have to be a long period. Even a few minutes of silent reflection each day can make a significant difference. Use this time to meditate, journal, or simply sit with your thoughts. Another practical step is to create a space that encourages solitude. It might be a nook in your home or a bench in a nearby park, a physical reminder and an invitation to connect with yourself. Thank you for watching. 
and don't miss this next video to continue your spiritual journey.